Hello out there YouTube, what's going on guys, it is D-Dunn here, the most chill cod player, and I'm bringing you guys my first Black Ops 3 video. I really want to talk today about, of course, just Black Ops 3, and I want to talk uh, about the biggest differences between the beta and the final release of the game, I want to talk about the maps, the guns, everything. Um, I don't want to give like a tell you if the game is good or not because we haven't played it long enough, but I can tell you that right now, I'm having a lot of fun. It is fun, and like I said, let's talk real quickly about the biggest difference between the uh, the beta and the final release, and I think the best word for it, the best word I can think of is polish. The game just feels polished. It feels clean. It, it runs so smooth, and any problems that you or I had in the beta are pretty much non-existent here in the final release. Of course, the biggest problem that we all had in the beta was gun balance and connection, and right now those two things are just not an issue, to be honest. You know, there's not really one gun that sticks out. The gun that I'm using right here, the BMP, it is the second or the third uh, submachine gun that you, that you unlock, and it is pretty solid. It's really good up close, but, you know, medium and long range, you're going you're gonna to struggle with it, to be honest. So, you know, it, it reminds me a lot of Scorpion from Black Ops 2. Um, it, like I said, it's pretty solid, and we haven't unlocked all the guns yet. I haven't got my hands on everything, but hold on real quick as I pick up one and two. Um, but for the most part, gun balance seems to be pretty much spot on. I, you know, the I really like the fact that as you progress, the the weapons do get better. You know, you're gonna find that you know the very first AR, the very first submachine gun, the second submachine gun, the second AR um, that you unlock. You know, they're not the best. They're not the best. As I hold on one and pick up the second two piece, but for the most part, the guns are really, really balanced. The more you unlock, the better they are. But they're they're not overpowered. If that makes sense. So, you know, I'm really enjoying the game. The connection is the biggest thing. You know, I think for a lot of people, a lot of people were really frustrated with the beta because it would take forever to find games. You know, the servers were constantly updating. As I jump up here, hip fire. Whew, that guy looked clueless. Thank goodness for a scuff. That is one thing, guys. If you do not have a scuff, this would be the game to get it. Uh, strictly due to the fact that you have to actually hold down the, you know, the jump button in order to uh, to elevate yourself and maintain your elevation, and that's the scuff just comes in handy. Um, it is, I think, it is worth more in this game uh, than it was in Advanced Warfare. So a scuff is definitely good. But anyway, back on topic, guys. Black Ops Three. The final release, the, the connection is amazing. And I mean that. Like, I have the NetDoom router, and in case you don't know, uh, even in-game you can see your ping. And I'm, I'm rocking like a 35 ping on most games, which is, I mean, that's just insanely low. That's like the ultimate four bar. So, you know, hit reg is super good. There's none of this dying around corners. There's none of these, like, crazy lag spikes. I've been playing on a dedicated server out of Dallas for... A uh, good majority of the time. So if there's a if there's a dedicated server within a state or two, you you are not going to have uh, any problems with connection. I can almost guarantee it. As long as your internet can you know connect to that, um, can connect to the um, dedicated server, you are not going to have a problem with lag. I can almost 100% guarantee it. Uh, one thing that I've definitely tried out that I never really gave a chance in the beta was the sound. The sound is really really good. Um, it's not overpowered, you know, it's not Ghost, it's not MW3, where you can hear people and know exactly when they're going to come around the corner or whatever, but it gives you a pretty good idea that there is someone around you, and around about what area there is, which I think is where it needs to be. You know, you just want a general idea that someone's around you. Uh, I think it does add a layer of depth to to the game, and you can, of course, counter that with Dead Silence, but, you know, Soundhorn is back, which I haven't played, you know, we haven't had a good Soundhorn game since ghosts and it was definitely a little overpowered in ghosts but i think it's really well balanced that's one of the things that you know about this game is just it is balanced but it is still fun which you know i think you know Treyarch you know went a little bit too far in balance in uh black ops 1 and then in black ops 2 you know some of the guns and you know all the stupid crap they put in the game for campers you're just so overpowered but in this game there is a really really strong balance between between fun and between um, and between balance, you know, there's nothing crazy overpowered. Uh, I do have a couple concerns. One being the score streaks, they're a little bit 
they're not necessarily hard to earn, but for their score, they're just not worth it, to be honest. So right now, the best kill streak in the game is is just the UAV, which is why I have the launcher handy on all my classes. The maps, which I know a lot of people who got the game early or, you know, only played, you know, first night and, uh, you know, dropped their opinions. So the maps were really bad. I actually really like the maps, which is surprising because I tend to not like the traditional three lane maps. I like maps with a little bit, you know, a little bit more intricacy. Um, even ghost maps, like on the smaller maps, I actually enjoyed, which I know a lot of people didn't. But, you know, the maps there, like I said, uh, they're a really good balance. Balance is key in this game, and I think they really nailed, like I said, balance and fun. Um, the maps, they are, most of them, a very traditional three-lane style uh, Call of Duty map. But there is just enough um, flow and, you know, cover to where you can get around the map without running straight, you know, head-on constantly with people. As I pre-fire this corner, pick up the final kill of the game. Nice little TDM. Got my 3KD. I'm happy with it. So, um, like I said, guys, just really happy with Black Ops 3 right now. It's so polished. It runs so smooth, and I'm just really happy. Um, expect a ton of content from me next week. I'll go into that in a later video. Um, but for now, I'm really enjoying the beta. Definitely leave your guys' thoughts in the comment section, and let me know what you think. There's so much that they have in this game right now than there was in the beta and it just it runs so good and I'm just I'm just really happy it's a good time to be a Call of Duty player and that is my opinion so anyway like I said if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you hated it that's fine dislike it leave me a comment why leave your uh, leave your comments on what you guys also think about Black Ops 3 so far if you've played it and uh, if you enjoy my content and you know you're new to my channel subscription is always appreciated I'll see you guys in the next video bye